What's going on guys, Miguel here back with another video and today I'm doing something super spontaneous as you can see I have my backpack here boom Yes, sir, and pretty much what I'm doing is I'm going to the bus Odegar That's what they call the bus station and pretty much I'm just gonna see where the next bus is to any city I have a couple in mind that I you know I've been researching but overall I do not know where I'm gonna end up today So be sure to like this video share this video comment down below and let's go on this spontaneous adventure together. Let's go Okay Yes, sir, ski. So they have these all over the city. You just click this, boom. And the taxi comes from like this, this area right there. Hello, Otoga? Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, guys, so we made it to the terminal right now, bro. Just about to get situated. Let's see where I go, bro, because I really don't have an idea of where I'm going. And I'm, I'm really liking coming right now because it's like super empty. Like nobody's here, but I'm gonna figure it out right now. So we'll see where I go in a second. Let's see. All right, guys, so I'm walking to the other side of the terminal. So pretty much you guys know how like in an airport, like they have international flights and they have domestic flights. Well, like that's kind of similar how the, you know, the Otogar, the bus station works here. It's pretty much like the local shorter distance buses are on one side, on the further side when you enter the Otogar, and the long distance is the first stop. Because you're taking a very small bus compared to like the longer distance, you're taking a bigger bus. Okay, so this is where you take the smaller buses here. All right, guys, so pretty much right behind me is a bus operator, right? A company that's taking me. Where am I going? It's pretty much inside. There's a bunch of different companies, and you just pick a random one. I mean, they're all pretty similar. All right, guys, so I'm on the bus right now, bro, and um, they are smaller seats and everything, but I mean, it's only an hour and a half, so I'm not really complaining. a quick little stop that we made i think we're like really close to olympus like 20 minutes 30 minutes max from olympus but the bus coming from antalya stops at like a little quick little pit stop and it drops off anybody who is going to olympus because the people that are going to olympus we, they don't need that bus anymore because there's not many people going that direction you know and there's other people going to bigger cities so pretty much you take a small little like mini bus like that or like that you see so the person told me it leaves in about 15 minutes so i'm just chilling I'll pick up the camera once I get to Olympus. Let's go. Just made it here at these famous tree houses that they're known for. This nice lady is showing me the room now. All right, guys, so I made it to my destination. I'm super excited, bro. Long journey. It wasn't that bad, to be honest, but... I'm excited to be here. Check out the room though. This is the door. The room has air conditioning, TV, and guys, boom. I have my own bathroom. Yes, sir. This is literally all you need, and this is like normal for where I'm at. Pretty much, it's a tree house, right? These got really popular in the 2000s. Actually, at one point, this was the most famous holiday destination in the world, featured by many huge articles and magazines, and it got really popular. All right, guys, pretty much right now, I'm headed to the ancient city of Olympus. I'll pick up the camera once I get there. Let's get it. All right, guys, so right now I just paid for a multiple entry card. Everybody recommends you get a multiple entry card because if you enter for just one time, it's going to be like 30 liras. But if you ask and be specific about, you know, asking for a multi-entry card, and it's going to be 40 liras. You use it 10 times before it expires and you have to buy another one. You know, one time is 30 lira, 10 times is 40 lira. So it makes sense, you know? Yo, guys, so I made it to the ancient city of Olympus. Check this out, guys. So these are some ruins right now of the ancient city. This was a church. ancient ruins in Olympus. You know, I used to read about this kind of stuff in history books. I used to go to school and be so bored sleeping in class. And like now just being here, it's just crazy. Like what am I doing here? You know, it's really beautiful. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Let's go. Okay. I 
think this was like a river, but it's like dried out or something because it looks like it would be a river to be honest Just like out of season because like in Mexico that happens too. It'll dry up and then it'll come back eventually So I just left the ancient city of Olympus and the beach like this city is such a chill vibe because like everybody's just relaxed It's not like you know a huge city where people are just at the malls and stuff like you're either on the beach You're relaxing it's super chill, but now I'm gonna try to go grab something to eat because I booked a tour for 9 p.m. So let's go All right guys, we're headed to Chamara. This firebird would be nice as hell. Like you're climbing up in the oven. Where the fuck is that fire? Okay, fuck this shit. 